This video is brought to you by Crux Interfacing Solutions. In this video, we will explore the VLogic on-screen display menu provided by Crux Interfacing in a numerous amount of their products. After installing your product, enter the OSC menu by holding the end call button for 3 seconds. We notice the menu pops up as a small window by default. We can use the up and down buttons on our steering wheel to navigate through the menu. By pressing the OK button, we make a selection. We can then use the left and right buttons to choose between our options. Firstly, we wish to expand the menu size for ease of viewing. Selecting OSD gives us a few variables to change. We can adjust the position of the menu with respect to the horizontal x-axis and the vertical y-axis. We can increase the size of the menu by going to size and changing the option to large. The OSD timeout option lets us adjust the time in which the window disappears automatically when no adjustments are being made. Moving on to the input option, we can choose whether we want our rear view camera and slash or our front view camera to be turned on or off. Since we are using an OEM backup camera, we will set the RVC input to OEM. On the other hand, we have installed an aftermarket front view camera, so we must turn FVC input to on. Next in the list is options. For aftermarket backup cameras, the Park Logic feature allows us to dictate the activation period of the rear view camera. Rear gear only engages the camera when the vehicle is placed in reverse. Rear gear speed keeps it activated when in reverse and till the point the vehicle has reached 18 miles per hour or more. Rear gear time keeps it active when in reverse and up to 20 seconds after the gear is no longer in reverse. If you wish to have dynamic parking lines in your rear view camera image, select the RVC option and set it to lines. In tangent to this, it is important that you choose the respective trim of the vehicle under car type. This vehicle's type is CLS. The power out options allude to the camera power providing wires used in the install. The pink 12 volt output is power out one and the green 12 volt output is power out two. This allows you to dictate which connection triggers the respective camera. CAN provides power when the interface is on. ACC or accessory provides power when the ignition is on. CAM provides power when the rear view camera input is activated. Rear gear provides power only when the reverse gear is engaged. AVS provides power when the interface video source is active. OFF turns the trigger output off. We prefer using the ACC setting. The VIM option stands for Video in Motion. Turning this on will let us view camera images while the car is in motion. The Factory Reset button will return the menu to its default settings. That concludes the walkthrough of the Crux VLogic menu. Thank you for watching and please subscribe for more content.